Hello everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show one of the little edge cases when you are using Cywithin command. I have to admit that Cywithin is one of my favorite commands if you're working with a form or a component that shows related information. It's so easy to use Cywithin and then keep working multiple elements limited to that component. But sometimes it leads to flick and sometimes it leads to the failing tests where you don't understand why it's failing. So here's a situation where it's really an edge case, but it can happen. Imagine we have an element shipping and inside there is a button load shipping info. And we click on the button and it loads and then shows shipped one day ago. If the outer element, let's say shipping, remains unchanged, everything is easy. We can use, you know, get shipping and uh, so get shipping and then say within find the button let's say contains button load and then we can click on it and the message appears inside the element so we can say uh, contains uh, class shipped and then shipped okay uh, because this is what we're looking for so again keeps retrying and then loads and everything seems to be fine but if we add something very innocuous for example we say uh, should be visible assertion after we get the shipping then for some reason the ship message is there but the test keeps retrying and times out and fails the problem here is that our application re-renders the whole shipping element after one second not just the inside but the whole element now notice what happens right here. If we don't have this assertion, then get element is passed and is used as kind of like the limit or outer component for all the commands inside. And if this command site contains fails, then it can go back to get and query the top level shipping element again. And when it gets replaced with a new message, well, we find it, right? And then we find the message inside. Unfortunately, Cypress has a pretty nasty bug that limits how you can use assertions, which kind of goes against the spirit of Cypress. You want to use as many assertions as possible, but unfortunately, assertions break the chain of queries. Meaning, the first time you run it, and the assertion passes, the element reference is passed to the next command to side within. And that's it, it never changes. So when the command inside side within fails, it goes and only looks at that element. It never gets back to side get. It's kind of like a separator, like a checkpoint. You don't go beyond the checkpoint, you only start from the checkpoint. Okay, I open the issue, it's been open for a long time. I don't know why they haven't fixed it because it's a nasty bug, to be honest. But in this video, I'll show a couple of solutions that are possible. Well, you can remove the assertion, right? You can um, uh, split the side within. And what do I mean by this? So our problem is that when we are working and clicking on the button, well, that kind of invalidates the outer element, right? So we cannot keep using it in the same callback side within. So we need to query the doc, another document, the element again, and move our assertion to a separate side within, kind of like this. E even better because we're literally just looking at a single site contains is to just make it a child command. And in this case, it will find shipping but then it keeps searching for shipped, it will go back and requery the get command. Uh, and once you've done this, then if you want to keep working with element, you can say within. Because at this point, the new information um, has been loaded, the element is stable, now you can use side within to again work with multiple elements inside of that element. So just to summarize, if you're using with side within and you do some action that makes the outer component re-render, you have to query it again. You cannot keep working with new element inside the old side within block. 
I'm going to put this code on my Cypress example site and I will put the link in the description of this video.